So we're uh, going to look at a Hyperledger Indie demo application. The application is demonstrating Hyperledger Indie appli applicability to social media, as well as some of the mobile, t mobile integration capabilities of uh, Indie. The application we're going to look at is for Atria Technologies Co-op. Atria is a Vancouver-based organization that works with nonprofits and community organizations to help them apply technology to their needs. Uh, the application specifically is for uh, helping community organizations and their neighbors collaborate on different projects, uh, share information. And the Indie we're looking at is a proof of concept in order to help them protect privacy and personal information. Uh, we can use Indie to help them certify identities and volunteer experience background checks and so forth, and then allow the neighbors to securely share that information between different community organizations as they need. And specifically, the mobile application we're going to look at is going to hold that information on their behalf. For the Organizations, they're going to use uh, managed wallets, cloud managed wallets on the application, and the application manages shared resources, a calendar, volunteer opportunities, events, and so forth um, as a shared database. So they access the shared resources online, but in this case, the users or the neighbors keep their personal information in a secure wallet and then share it through um, Hyperledger ND and agents. The demo is available on GitHub and Specifically, under the branch Atria Django Indie is the Indie Proof of Concept branch. And you can build and run that application using Docker. So there's a Docker Compose, and there's some instructions on how to run it. It does it reloads the database, initializes uh, test data as necessary. In this specific instance, we're running against the Sovereign Staging Network. And how we do that is we just, we're using the VCX agent. And so we just point to a VCX agency that knows about the sovereign staging network as well as the Genesis URL for the staging network. The init data initializes schemas and orgs and does all of the basic uh, system initialization for us. So let's take a look. So first of all, we'll start by logging in as one of the organizations. And I'll pick Kawasa House, which is one of the organizations we're working with to build out the system. So we'll sign in as a Kawasa user. And Kawasa has got access to a bunch of stuff. The calendar, they don't have any events in this calendar. That's not the piece that we're demoing. But we will then log in, create a neighbor account. And in this case, we're going to create a neighbor account as a mobile wallet. So our neighbor is Bob Smith, bob at mail.com, so we know how to get in touch with him. And we'll give him a password. And he wants to connect with Kawasa House. And we'll make that request. And it brings up a QR code. Now we will share my phone here, where I am running uh, Evernim's connect.me application. So I've got connect.me running. And I've initialized a fresh install of connect.me. So I click on start fresh. In this case, I want to connect to the staging network. So I click on the uh, staging network option at the bottom. And then in this case, I'm just going to Enter a passcode. I've got an option for biometrics if my phone supports it. But in this case, I'll just enter a passcode. And we can see that we're now connected on our connect.me application on our phone. So once we're connected, we can scan the QR code to set up a connection. So I'll click on scan and then it pops up the camera and I can take a look at the QR code.
and QR code tells me that Kawasa Neighborhood Test wants to connect. So I accept the connection, enter my code, and now I have a secure wallet on my phone to store my credentials, and it's established a connection with Kawasa Neighborhood House. So as the Kawasa representative, I can now, assuming I've met with Bob, and I've seen his ID, done a background check, I can now come in, I see that I've got a connection with him, he's showing on my connected users. I can issue him a certification to say, yes indeed, I have done a background check on Bob and I'm willing to certify that. And we'll just say level five. Level five is just a made up number for now. So then that will show up on my, I'll get a notification that Kwasi House wants to send me a credential. So I accept that. There's a little bit of chatter back and forth. And then eventually Kwasi House sends me a credential. Now I've got the uh, indie screens here so we can see what's happening in the background. So we see I've got a, a VCX connection established and then there's a conversation where I've issued a credential to Bob. And if I look at it on the phone, then I see that the credential has shows up here that has been received. Now let's say Bob now moves to a different neighborhood and Bob wants to work with a different organization. Let's say Kitsilano. And Bob wants to attend an event again as a volunteer where again, Bob needs his background check. So we'll set up a connection. This time we'll initiate it from Kitsilano side. We'll say connect, submit. Now we don't have uh, Bob is actually not active on the system. We don't have Bob's email integrated. So we'll just fake it for now. We'll pop up a QR code and scan it. And Bob now has a connection with Kitsilano. Now Kitsilano would like to understand Bob's background check. So rather than issuing a certification, since Bob tells us he's already done that, is we will request a proof. And what we're requesting a proof of is a proof of background check. We submit that, the value we want, let's say we want a value greater than or equal to three. And submit. And then this should send Bob a notification that we're asking for a proof. So a proof of background check, and it automatically determines that we've got a credential that satisfies that. So then we can select it and click on send, and then that will send the proof request back to Kitsilano. So now once Kitsilano receives that, Kitsilano will receive a notification in their connections that says that Bob now has a background check and is based on a proof request. So that's the integration. And the Atria demo. And for those of you who are coders, um, the code is all available in GitHub. And the instructions to run it are all under the Docker directory. Thank you.